Hello, my favorite homeroom class, um, Miss King here, obviously, and we did lesson 6.2 today, and I wanted to review it with you in case you're having trouble with your homework this weekend. So, quick review. Prisms, cylinders, volume of each. What is a prism? Something like this. It has a rectangular or a triangular or a square base. If it has a square base, it's going to be called a cube. Rectangular base, rectangular prism, and triangular base, triangular prism. Any of those three, you are going to use the same formula to find the volume. Remember what volume is. Volume is everything on the inside. So if I have, um, if I want to know the volume of air that this rectangular prism can hold, I would plug the information into the formula and I could tell you. All I need is the dimensions of the base and the height. So if I can figure out the area of the base, which is this, multiplied by the height, then I can find the volume. All right, so let's do an example on that. I, um, in your book, in example one, you have a rectangular prism with the base dimensions two and five and a height of seven. So the first thing we do is write down the formula and then basically plug and chug. What is the area of the base? Well, the dimensions are two times five. Area of a rectangle is length times width. So we're just gonna multiply two times five, which is 10 times the height, which is seven, and our volume equals 70. Okay. The other one we need to learn is volume of a cylinder. What is a cylinder? I have an example of a cylinder here. It's just, okay, so something like this. Um, it has a circular bottom. It's three-dimensional with a circular bottom. And to find the volume of, say, air or water that could be held within the cylinder, again, you're going to find the area of the base and multiply it by the height. Um, Remember, the bottom, the base, is called a circle, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So instead of the area of the base, we're going to put pi r squared times height, and we'll do a quick example that's also in your book. Volume equals pi r squared times height. r is 6, so we put in pi times 6 squared times height, which is 15. Make sure you follow order of operations. For example, you need to square the six before you multiply it by pi. So this is gonna be 36 pi times 15. And the answer is 540 pi. And if you wanted to multiply that out, 540 times 3.14, it would be 1695.6. Either answer is acceptable, but follow the directions. Sometimes they want the answer in terms of pi. Sometimes they want the exact answer or the answer in terms of a decimal. So make sure you're following the directions on that part.